there's so many so much discussion today online especially about zionism and perhaps what it does and doesn't represent so can i ask you as a as a worker in the church in jerusalem what what would you say zionism zionism is and what isn't what what it isn't excellent question um zionism first of all zionism is is by its uh, at its core definition is nationalism and it's a nationalism for the jewish people to have a nation state now you may not like nationalism nationalism might not be your thing uh you might think that uh, we should all be united that we should just get rid of borders uh, i think that is a wrong idea i think last time we tried that in the bible in genesis 10 it led to the tower of babel um, but but you don't have to like nationalism but if you don't like nationalism you'd better not like croatian nationalism or palestinian nationalism or the bus american <laughs> nationalism uh, yeah or any form of nationalism but if everybody else is allowed to have a nationalistic exp um, e uh, uh, expression expressions except for the jewish people well then you're then you're an anti anti-semite and uh, so zionism is not evil it's not racist. It's not uh, prejudiced against anything. It is simply nationalism for the Jewish people. And that has the same weight, value, meaning and intention as any people group's nationalistic as aspirations. Christian Zionism is, is simply that. It is uh, 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 a Christian theological look at the Bible that says, well, actually, there isn't a group of people called the Jewish people, and they have a, a nationalistic a, a, um, aspiration, and we find it in the biblical text, and it comes with a geographical border which you find in the Bible. That's what Christian Zionism is. It's not evil, racist, or anything like like that. It's just a, it's just a, an acknowledgement that there is actually a sacred text uh, that that uh, has. A, uh, nationalistic asp uh, aspirations for a people group. So d does Zionism mean that you hate Palestinians or, or don't care about the poor no, that are amongst? Uh, yeah, no, Zionism does not mean that you hate Palestinians. Zionism does uh, not mean that you, that you hate any other people group. Just like having a nationalistic aspiration for Croatians doesn't mean you're automatically anti-European or anti-Bosnian, uh, or whether you're an, an American nationalist that therefore hate Canadians. That, that's just not true. Um, uh, for, for people to say such a thing is, is, uh, is, goes against the actual definition of what nationalism is. Um, so do you think there is a, a minority that are perhaps taking this idea too far? Yeah. There are always minority groups. Like political extremists? There are always minority groups. There's always political extremist groups. Uh, usually these people, because of their nature as minorities, are not a reflection of the majority. Uh, they tend to be, though, quite vocal and loud. And, uh, and tend to get most of your press and, 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 and public, um, occupy the public sphere in discussion, usually for the negative. Um, and they tend to dominate, and then it, it, unfortunately everyone gets tarred with their brush. And that's not fair. Right. So what would you say to the sentiment that Zionism equals Rothschild conspiracy with, um, you know, uh, that is purely there's, elitist? There's lots of conspiracy theories out there uh, I, I I think they're absolutely hilarious at least you know if you really do believe that Jews rule the world and that uh, they're domineering and, and control everything then you probably shouldn't say anything nasty about Jews should you uh, uh, I wouldn't if that's what I thought um, they don't you know the richest people in the world uh, the top 10 none of them are Jews mm. so um, and, and, and the big companies that, that are the most wealthiest, they're not Jews anyway, the most richest company in the world is actually Aramco, it's Saudi Arabian. Uh, if you want to talk about who owns all the wealth, uh, go look there. Uh, that uh, It's just those uh, conspiracy theories that are in essence actually anti-Semitic and actually ignore facts. And usually when you try and explain facts to these people, they're not going to listen anyway. Uh, my advice for people, do some research. Go look, go ch go check out the facts, and uh, and you'll actually find that um, Jewish people are very altruistic. They they donate to fantastic charities. They are not the richest people in the world. They also occupy the poorest echelons too. Uh, 
uh, and, 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 and the fact is that uh, they have not sought to go out and, 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 and conquer. Uh, that that is, just, is just not true. Israel as a nation, uh, as we have seen in history, has withdrawn from the Sinai, has withdrawn from the Lebanon, has withdrawn from Gaza, has made peace with Jordan, has made peace with Egypt and Turkey and Morocco, and now Qatar, and and, uh, and so actually has uh, gone and made peace with, it, with, with as many Arab neighbors as it can. Those are facts. Those are things you can all happily check. Uh, and those should be celebrated. Those should be talked about. Those should be encouraged. Uh, instead, uh, we end up with, with people who still scaremonger, still uh, instill uh, fear, still uh, spread lies and rumours. Uh, that, that essentially equates to, to anti-Semitism. And we see a common thread amongst the United Nations and the liberal press that they are constantly actually yeah. saying that Jews have no connection to the Temple Mount or Jerusalem. Yeah. This, 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 that, that, that fact that, uh, that 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 claim that Jews have no connection to the Temple Mountain or Jews have no connection to the land of Israel uh, should insult every single Christian who owns a Bible, right. and any any Christian who has actually read his Bible should be able to see clearly from just about every page that, that God brought his people to the land of Israel, that uh, Joshua came into Canaan, that Jesus walked amongst the temple, he uh, cleansed the temple, he said, this is my father's house, I'm supposed to be here to do my work, and, uh, and, and, and this sort of idea that there never was a temple should insult every Christian who owns, who owns a Bible. And instead what you find is they're incredibly silent, and silence is an affirmation. If you're silent in the face of a lie, that means you actually affirm the lie. And you should start, stop doing that. Mm. So how do, lastly, how do we fight this? How do we witness to the Jews as, as believers? And how do we fight this surge of... Well, two things are always going to be certain. One is death and the other is a Muslim majority in the United Nations. So I, I don't think you can actually... Uh, uh, challenge this on a on a political level, and and perhaps that's maybe the reason why Jesus says that my kingdom really is is not of this world, but you are part of the kingdom of heaven, and the kingdom of heaven is forcefully advancing, and your king is alive and well, and he is sitting on the throne, ruling and reigning, and he has given his spirit, and uh, and that gives us a sense of encouragement, that gives us uh, actually a, a, a sense of power, that when it is time for us to speak, that we will actually have the words from the Spirit. And so uh, I, mean, I would encourage us to acknowledge that Paul says faith comes by hearing. We need to speak and we need to speak the truth. Speak the truth in love, speak to the, the truth gently, uh, constantly uh, when, when we come up against a lie to acknowledge it, to challenge it and to counteract the, the, the lie with truth and hope. Can I ask you actually, why do you think the enemy hates the Jews? Oh, why do I think the enemy hates the Jews? Um, I think, I think the enemy uh, has also read the same texts as us, and, and he knows that redemption comes from the Jews, and uh, as Jesus said, he knows this, and he knows that history began here, and he knows that history ends here. And if he wants to try and change history, he's got to change here. And, uh, and that, and that f f is the Jewish people, that is the, the state of Israel, that, um, that seems to be a destiny and a calling uh, for Israel. Israel has a, in Isaiah 19, Israel will be a blessing in the midst of the earth. Uh, Abraham, that uh, this will be, these will be lights to the nations and a blessing uh, to the ends of the earth. Uh, and Satan doesn't like this world. He, he hates the, the adoration of the Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Satan only hates it. And so he comes in to seek, kill and destroy. Uh, and 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 the one way to do that is to target uh, uh, God's chosen people, and He ch has has chosen to hate them with a vengeance.